it's frustrating still. It's difficult. <clears throat> it's encouraging in that I can I cannot imagine the judge not saying we should go forward with criminal charges. And one of the things that keeps popping into my head is that this isn't really about people's memory of things. It's what is in the record. Because it's real difficult to remember specifics of something that happened 25 years ago. Everybody's like that. That's just this, that's what memory is. Perception. And um, we can go with what's being said, but also there is just the black and white record, what's right there. What in the record has struck you the most as the, as the most egregious problem that you've seen? It's been the theme from day one in 86. Uh, White and Allison were having fits trying to get things from the prosecution. And it carried right on to when the Innocence Project took over and it was still a labor. It was a war um, to get the simplest things, things you would think would be just normal, you know, a free test. It's been a theme all the way through. You testified for five and a half hours yesterday. You sat across from the judge 15 feet away for the entire time. You looked at him a few times. What was it like to see him sitting there at the table you sat at while he said things about you that weren't true? I don't want to say it was sweet because it wasn't. It's kind of like a, a necessary evil, you might say. I don't want to say, no, I shouldn't say evil. Um, it's like a hard duty, you know. Um, we don't revel in our uh, enemy's pain or suffering, but um, this is one of those things that I think has to happen because the big picture here is accountability. This is um, the beginnings of a process that I felt should have happened to begin with. Not trying to go after King Anderson, but going after the right guy, straightening this up, and trying to correct things. Because the big, the big, the big story here, the big uh, thing that keeps me rolling, like I've said, is if I can do something that'll stop this from happening to you or to anybody else, because it was so arbitrary and I was so average. The then DA, Mr. Bradley, uh, contacted Barry Sheck and some others that he wanted to negotiate my release, and it was on a, it was on a weekend. I believe it was was it a Saturday or Sunday? Saturday and so I, would, I could get out on that following Tuesday just walk right out the door if I agreed that there was no wrongdoing in the Wimps County DA's office sheriff's office there would be no inquiry depositions no just you know sign the paper and disappear and I've always wanted to know why this happened to me so I told him to tell Mr. Bradley no how much longer did you stay in as a result? That following Tuesday. You were out anyway. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> good negotiating. Uh, some pretty good ones in this room. Yeah. Uh, there's also the hand of God. I mean, it was just so outrageous and so outlandish and unexpected. and um, It was the definition of bizarre. Did you find yourself taking anything for granted in the 16 months? I've, I, I realize that I, I've gotten used to so, uh, comfortable beds. Yeah, yeah I, I was in one in a hotel not too long ago, and it just didn't seem right. And uh, I thought, wait a minute, this is fine. There's nothing wrong with this. Uh, 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 Has it been a charmed life all uh, while you've been out, or have there been any bumps? The bumps are a relative thing. Um, I think I spoke 
don't know, or quite a while back about last year I came to Austin in the process while I was here I lost my wallet and driver's license, money, credit cards, all that kind of stuff and those kind of bumps are really no big deal. You know? um, it's kind of like um, having to be somewhere that you don't want to be but you know you have to do it so it's not that big a deal. My, my bad days are still good. Yeah, I still appreciate that. Even to this day um, I've had a few of these moments where I would driving my truck or maybe just walking across my backyard and just the way the light hits, um, the sun on my face, little, little sweet things. I've got birds that sing in my backyard, squirrels running around on my roof. <laughs> Why did you ask the judge to be gentle? with a guy who did to you what he did. Um, the Judeo-Christian Western civilization perspective is Christ's golden rule. And uh, one of the things that I recall when I was sentenced and I was put away from the county jail before I went to TDC were the jailers. And I can't speak for everybody, but in my situation, in as much as they could be, they were kind to me. Oh. I don't have a lot of sympathy for him, but he's had a hard day too, and I remember what it's like having everybody gunning for you. Guilty or innocent, um, excuse me, guilty or innocent. Um, I still know what that's like when they come after you. What's it like? Um, nothing stable. You can't count on anything. Um, you're living in another world. The ground is literally shifting beneath your feet. Um, you don't trust anybody. You can't trust anybody. Um, you really don't know what's next. 